So I have just watched the Justice League Justice is Great Edition and I did a little experiment. So in 2017, after I watched Justice League in the cinemas, I only came out saying three words. Meh, eh, hmm. And these three words basically sum up the entire DCEU? DCEU? Yeah, DC Cinematic Universe. Because I don't feel like it's a bad movie when you're given a very limited time to match up the grand scale of Marvel. You're definitely gonna have a, a few slip up un unless you're like a, a god tier movie maker. But like, yeah, I think it's very hard task for them to to match up with uh, um, Marvel, which is why when they announced that the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League came out, and I was like, yes, yes, I'll give it another chance. This time, it's the director's own vision. I'm not going to bring up the whole story about that. But this time, let's just say that Zack Snyder redeemed himself with Justice League, I would say. Because four hours of pure world building and character development that is much better than whatever the first one did. I mean, the original one did. It did a much better job than that. Okay, so when Avenger Endgame came out, three hours of a movie is the longest I longest movie I ever seen okay period I have not seen any movie that is much longer than three hours long so four hours of Jack Zack Snyder's uh Justice League cut is a new new for me so when I watched it with my friends I did a little thing I recorded what time did I pee and what time did I did we take like a potty break because Let's be honest here, it, it'll be impossible. I mean, unless you're very skillful, you have a big ass tank, you ain't gonna survive that shit, okay? Look, I'm a big boy. So naturally, I have a big tank. But that is not because of me being a big boy. That is because of me, after years of egregious water training, just chugging down water, just litters after litters, or like whatever you call it in America. So I thought that I would pee only like once or twice during the entire four hour run of the movie but turns out I peed three times which is surprising to say the least so I decided it would be kind of fun if I would just write down how many times and when I would we would like take toilet breaks basically just to see across the four hour run of the movie how many times do I pee so I didn't know I was gonna do this twice. The first time I just, I actually just, just did this for fun. I jote down whenever I, I went. I guess, I guess I just drank chuck water like normal, how I usually would. And it turns out in a, in a four hour span, I went to the toilet three times. And that is, I, I wrote it down here, okay. So the first time is um, an hour and 42 minutes into the movie. And the second time is two hours, 58 minutes into the movie. And then the third time is third, uh, 3 hours, 35 minutes into the movie. Yeah, you can see, like, I, as the movie progressed, I, I just, I think I have a habit of just chugging down water because the last two times I went to the toilet is really close to each other. So, yeah, I guess that's no surprise because I got a pretty big tank and a pretty big uh, habit of uh, chugging down water as I watch stuff. But when I decided I wanted to watch the Justice is Grey edition, I asked myself, hey, you know, why not do a little challenge, you know? So within this another four hour movie session, I would just try to keep the number of, uh, the amount of water I would drink to a minimal, just to see how many times I would go for a potty break. <laughs> that is not a good idea because like, I, I feel like I enjoyed the, the, the second viewing of the movie slightly less than the first one, or maybe that's because I like, it's the second time I'm watching it. It's still quite enjoyable, but like the experience is different. Like, yeah, I'm just I'm staring at that water bottle down there, and I just like, mm 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 mm. But the uh, the result is kind of surprising, like quite inform uh informational. So the first time I take a piss in the movie is a little bit over the halfway point. It's at two hours eleven minutes in, which is surprising to me because um. I did. I didn't remember like drinking down like a, a a can of soda like right before, and then like to wash my mouth out. I I drank quite a little bit of water. Maybe it's just like my subconsciously like 
trying to push it down or whatever, or I'm just sitting down. But then the second time came around when the movie is almost over. It's at 3 hours 25 minutes in. And that is kind of impressive compared to the previous result. I'll put it on the screen. And the third time I piss, which I think it shouldn't count as um, a third time. I only did it after I finished the movie. So that's like over four hours in. That is a, a pretty impressive re record. I don't know if... <laughs> I don't know if I should use impressive because like, I don't know if this is healthy for me. <laughs> so I guess Justice League taught me more than one thing. And that is, I can hold my BP back longer if I use a strategically big brain, five head, like planning on this thing. Unfortunately, I'm not a maths man, but if there is any mathematician out there that can do the calculation on like um, the amount of water we drink, equals to how much like we're gonna like how long are we gonna have to like uh, expel the full amount of tank according to everybody's like capacity i'm using big words here but like you know <laughs> so hopefully in the future when we have much more longer movies which i'm hoping for actually but if there is any more super long movie or like emergency events that you know you i can't go in, in case okay there's an audition for like a, a an astronaut audition and like the line's like 10 meters long no i mean 10 miles long <laughs> then I, I i could put this skill to use you know so i guess justice league taught me more than one thing who thunk ah it's a really good movie though i really enjoyed it anyway yeah, that's about it.